We are here at the Nordic Semiconductor stand at Embedded World 2023 and we're going to talk about the Matter protocol. Now you've probably heard of Matter and you've probably been told that it's a massive deal for smart home uh, work, whether you're doing it your DIY kind of things or whether you're just trying to buy stuff for your smart home. Um, and this demo uh, with some Nordic products and some off-the-shelf consumer products kind of outlines exactly why Matter is so cool. Now I'm here with Finn from Nordic who's going to take us through exactly what's going on in this demo. Hi. Yeah. Um, so what we have here is uh, uh, basically a smart home setup of how you could have your smart home at home. Uh, what we have is two different smart hubs from different ecosystems, which is the interesting thing about Meta. It's the multi-admin features that you can control devices from several ecosystems at the same time. We have several end customer devices that we're using here. We have a light bulb, we have a door lock. Uh, we're using some of our Thingy 53s that you might know. Uh, in this case, we're using it uh, as a weather station for Meta. Uh, we have occupancy sensors. We have one of our new Wi-Fi development kits. So this is really interesting for Meta because it has a 7002, which is a Wi-Fi competency. It also has an NIF 5340, which is a multi-protocol SOC. So it has Bluetooth, it has Thread, it has Wi-Fi. This kit has everything you need to build any Meta device you want. And uh, then we have some window blinds. Uh, I can use them manually. We can also use them uh, by using voice commands. And we have a heater connected here. And what, I, what we are showing, or what we're showing is basically this. We have several devices connected to a Wi-Fi access point. So these are our Wi-Fi devices. We have two phones connected, one Android, one Apple phone. We have our development kit connected over Wi-Fi. We have two home ecosystems. This is Apple and Google, but this works with other ecosystems. We just chose these two. Uh, then we have several devices connected to the Apple HomePod Mini. We have two devices connected to Google Nest Hub. This is the door lock. We also connected the window blinds over there. And what I would like to do is just have you try it and see if it works for you. Sure thing. Yeah, this is this is the thing that is the kind of really exciting part for me is that um, as you can see from this chart, it looks it looks a little bit like only the Apple HomePod Mini is connected to some things and the Google Nest is connected to some things because well, it is that way. But what you couldn't do in the past and what Matter allows you to do is get these things to chat via thread. So, in theory, if I walk over here and say, "Hey Siri, open my blinds," these blinds will start to open just over here. But what you couldn't do in the past is then turn around and say, hey, Google, close my blinds. Now that, as someone who used to report as a smart home news person, is wild. Uh, the biggest problem with smart homes for a very long time was the lack of cohesion in the e ecosystems. And yeah, the fact that this stuff works now is amazing. And um, yeah, this is also somewhat unique because as far as I know, this Nordic demo is the first time I've seen things talking exactly the way that they are, like opening with one kind of home pod and closing them with another. That doesn't necessarily mean it is the only one, but it's the only one I've seen so far. So uh, yeah, that's a fantastic thing to see in the wild. And thank you so much for the uh, yeah, thank you so much for the demonstration, Finn. That was yeah. fantastic. Cheers. Thanks so much. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs>